Hey everyone, Ben here with five totally free killer apps that I think all sim racers need. These are either in-game or third-party add-ons to your sim racing titles that provide the information and data you need to achieve the best results you can. Let's get stuck in. Number one, a radar. Everyone who doesn't have access to VR or triple screens needs a radar. And even with triples, you'd probably benefit from one. It might feel immersion breaking, but it's just a fact that in your sim cockpit, you lack the information you'd have in real life, and a radar helps replace some of that. Without one, you run the risk of being a menace to your fellow sim racers, and I guarantee you, it will help save you from having accidents. ACC helpfully comes with an excellent radar built in, so make sure you have it turned on in the hood options. For other sims, you'll likely require a third-party download. Otterhood in Race Room comes with one, and Race Department has a host of options for a Seto Corsa. Ironically, iRacing, with its often lethal driving standards and punishing damage model, does not come with one, so I use Race Lab Apps, which isn't hugely refined, but does a job. Links to all of these options are in the description. Number 2, a Fuel Calculator. Unless you're running a fixed setup race, you will need to know how much fuel you're going to use during your session. Most games will provide you an estimate of your per lap fuel consumption after you've ran some practice laps, but if you're running to a time limit, rather than a set number of laps, you're going to need to do some maths. Now you could test your skills and do it manually, but it's probably better to have a program help you out. If you're in race room, Otterhood will do it for you. But for other games, try out some of the links in the description. Oh, and if you're in iRacing, you can get Crew Chief to help you out with fueling, but more on him in a while. Number 3, a relative board. Now most sims activate a leaderboard by default in your hood to display race positions. That's fine, but it won't necessarily tell you what's going on in your race on track in the moment. That's where a relative board comes in, as it shows you the gaps between yourself and other cars irrespective of track position. This comes in particularly helpful in longer races where you might be dealing with lapped cars or measuring your pace to drivers in front or behind you. And it's extremely helpful should you have an accident and are looking to rejoin the track. Never ever swing back onto the racing line if you don't have a decent gap to the next car on track in your relative board. The good news is I think all sims come with one of these as standard, so get it activated in your hood and use it. Number 4, a field of view calculator. If you've been sim racing a while you'll have heard all about field of view. If you're new to sim racing this is about getting as close as you can to replicating what you'd see in a real car based on your seating position in relation to your monitor. Now the majority of us don't have one-to-one -one replicas of race cars for rigs, so some compromise is going to be needed to get a balance between a view which is drivable while still authentic. And don't think this is just about immersion. A better field of view will make you more consistent and faster. By feeding your brain more accurate information, you'll be amazed how much easier you'll find cars to control and your ability to react to what force feedback is telling you. All you'll need is a tape measure to get the distance between your eyes and your screen, and a program will do the rest for you. Race Room has a fantastic inbuilt tool to help you do this, but if you're on a different sim, I've listed a couple of decent options in the description. Honestly, it's really, really worth doing. Finally, we've saved the best until last, Crew Chief. This is an amazing piece of software that I'm sure many of you will be acquainted with. It provides a virtual race engineer and spotter, giving you audio information throughout the race. But it can also do much more, from helping you with pitch strategy, automating various functions like refueling, and even responding to your voice commands. If you have it installed and have never delved into the options in the app, make some time to do so. You probably aren't getting everything from it that you could. Again, check out the description for download instructions. And that's our list. If you want to see these apps in action, check out one of the many race videos on the channel, including the one on screen now. It's fantastic.